Good night, good night, hey, everyone. Doing tonight, God is good, and God is good all the time. My name is Irma J. Spirit Divine. I'm here to give you a word on tonight. Um, you remember Moses had broke the first uh, tablet, you know, so God gonna have him to do another one. And this time, it's gonna be two. So, the name of the title is gonna be the new stone tablet, and this is gonna be out of stone. No, it's gonna come from Exodus, Exodus chapter 34, 1 through 28. So to remember um, when Moses had broke the tablet into pieces, that's how angry he was. And when he saw the Israelites sin, you know, they made an uh, image of um, God, you know, and now God will make a new tablet of stone. So now the Lord said to Moses, you know, take out two stones. Now this time he's not going to just do one, he's going to do two, you know, like the first one. So God said he, he will write. Um, he will write the words, or you know, he will give Moses the words to say, to write down, you know. So this time, you remember, God did the first tablet, you know. Now this time, God gonna give Moses the words to write down on the stone, you know. So um, God is letting Moses know that he broke it, you know, because uh, God has said, write on them the words that were on the first tablet, you know, which you broke. You know, so God let him know, okay, you broke the first tablet, so now we're about to do two. You know, so God let him know that you, you broke the first tablet, so now we in the making of making another one. You know, so now uh, uh, God is, God had told Moses, you know, the next day, meet me up there on the top of the mountain. You know, we see that mean a lot on that top mountain. You know, he said, meet me on that top mountain. You know, Moses is going to be out there 40 days and 40 nights, you know, get trying to get this these two tablets together you know so uh so um so moses came out with two two stones of the tablet you know and he went on the top of the mountain like god had struck to him and then the law came down in the cloud and stood there you know with him and proclaimed his name the law you know so god passed in front of moses now, God still passing by Moses. Now, I remember yesterday, he passed by him and covered his eyes up. You know, so here he passing again. God passed in front of Moses, proclaiming the Lord. He is compassionate, you know, or gracious. Now, see, these are the things that Moses saying. You know, Moses saw his glory yesterday. So now God is still passing Moses by. You know, so Moses saying he he is compassionate, a gracious um, God, slow to anger, abiding in love, faithfulness. Um, maintain, maintain, maintain love to a thousand. You know, so Moses saying all these wonderful things. Cause you remember he saw God goodness and and, and um, glory yesterday. You know, so he giving wick wickedness, rebellion. He talking about the Israelite. You know, so now the Israelite has sin. You know, but he does not leave the guilty unpunished. God said he don't leave the unguilty um unpunished. You know, so uh, remember he had told me yesterday, I have to decide what your punishment going to be. You know, so here he's saying he's not going to leave it unpunished. You know, so he punished children for their sin, the parents for their sin, um, from the third and the fourth generation to come. So when God finished, you know, talking to Moses, you know, so how, you know, uh, to ground and worship. You know, God had, God tell, telling Moses, you know, tell, tell those people again, you know, I need them to worship me and don't worship nobody else. You know, so now Moses, you know, uh, playing again, pleading again, you know, um, for the Israelite, you know, um, Moses said, Lord, if you found favor in my eyes, here he go again, you know, let the Lord go with us. You know, so Moses, Moses said, even then. You know, they are still that. You know, people, you, you know, forgive their wickedness. Moses said, forgive their wickedness. You know, our sin and take us, you know, as a heritage. Now, you see, um, the Israelites said, forgive us for our wickedness. Forgive us for our sin. You know, you know, even that, just take us as an inheritor. You, you know, so they, they plead and they lie, you know, for God. You know, so now they're still trying to get God to go with them. But God already had told them he's going to go. You know, so I don't know what more, you know, th they need. So Moses wants want to make sure, 
you know, so the Israelites said, take us in, as an inheritance. You, you know, so they're playing real hardball now because they know God is not going to play with them. So the law said, I am making a covenant with you. And you see, they agree again. You know, they agree. The last time they agree, and God made a covenant to them with them, and then when Moses come down, he said, you know, worshiping other gods. You know, so God said, all your people, I will do wonders. Now, God said, I'm going to do wonders. He said, all the people, say, all your people, I'm going to do wonders. I'm going to do something that the world have not, not seen before. You know, so that's what God said. God said, um, God said, I will do wonders, you know, that never had been seen before in the world. You know, never had been done in anywhere in the nation, you know, in all the world. You know, so this this is going to be something nice. See, he loved the Israelites. You know, he forgave them. You know, he letting them go in, in a land that he promised to them. That's why Moses said he is a gracious, a compassionate God. You know, and so, um, let me say it again. God said, all your people, to all your people, I will do wonders. You know, never before was done. You know, any nation or in the world. So God about to do something that no, no one had ever seen before. You know, so the people you live among will see how awesome is the work that I have, the Lord will do for you. Now, you see, all that stuff the Israelites done, worshiping other gods, just did all kind of wickedness. But God had called them a stiff neck, you know. So now God about to do something that he never done before in a nation or in the world, you know. And then he said, the people that's among you, they will see the awesome in the work that God about to do. You see what I'm saying? That's that what you call the awesome God. You know, awesome God who was planning to punish them. You know, but then he forgave them. And now he said, I'm about to do something that is never had been done before in the nation, in the whole world. And the people that are going to be around you, you know. They're going to see the work that I'm about to do for you. You know, so that's what God had told Moses. You know, that's what he told Moses about this, um, about the Israelites. You know, he said, I forgive them. You know, I forgive them. And I'm about to do something that never had been done before in a nation and uh, in the world. You know, and he said, all the people around, you know, they're about to see what God is about to do. You know, so obey what I command you today. So God will drive out, you know, to Ammonites, the Canaanites, the Ammonites, the Pisanites. You know, God telling them to be careful, you know, not to go make any treaty with those that's living that land. You know what he mean, right? That God wants to drive all of them. When they get ready to inherit their land, when they get ready to take their land, God wants them to drive everyone out that's what he said don't make no treaty with them meaning don't make don't be friends with them because you leave one in there you're gonna be back you know um worshiping other false gods you know so that's why god said i need y'all to drive all of them out of that land that land is for y'all i need you to get everyone out of that land you know so god is telling them when you take your land you know Break down all the altars, smash them all up, all the false images of false gods that um that the Canaanites, you know, can Canaanites had uh, did up in the land. He said, once you bring, um, once you conquer your land, you know, I need you to break up all the false uh images of gods that the Canaanites had made. Take them, stomp all of them, you know, break them all into pieces, you know. So um. Now the second stone, you know, so there, there's an altar, smash, smash all the um false god, you know, cut it down into poles and do not worship any gods. You know, you know. So the law who name is jealous, is a jealous God, you know. No matter how you might say he's jealous, he said he is the only true God, do not worship no other gods. You know, so God continue on telling them, you know. Don't make treaty with the people that live among you in that in your land that I'm about to um give you, you know. So God telling them again, do not make you know any orders 
the gauls you know cel they celebrate celebrate the festival you know to unleave bread you know for seven days you know you need to eat this bread without ye as god commanded them you know so god said all the firstborn you know all the firstborn male belongs to god you know um the first male or the last star, you know belongs to god you know no one is to appear before him empty hand you know so on the sixth day see these these instructions that god had given them already you know but they obey you know disobey so now god is giving these instructions all over again you know he said on the sixth day you should you should do on labor because on the seventh day is resting. Remember, I, I, I talked to y'all about that. You know, the Israelite God talked to them about that. You know, but just like God said, there's a stiff neck. You know, so God said on the sixth day, y'all go ahead and do your labor. You clean up the house, do whatever you need to do. Because on the seventh day is rest. You know, so now God had give them, you know, the law all over again. You know, so now remember that Moses broke the first tablet. So now the Lord said to Moses, write down these words for our, our, our recording with these words. Now I have made a covenant with you in the Israel. You know, so God said, you know, God, God, God had wrote everything up the last time. So now this time, God said, I'm going to tell you the words, you know, that I want you to write down on these tablets. You know, so... I have made, so God made a covenant with them, you know, and Israel, you know, so Moses was there, you know, with the law for 40 days and 40 nights, you know, without eating. So he was up there without eating, you know, so uh, he ain't had no food and he didn't have no water. So now God will give Moses the words to write down on these stones, you know, so now Moses, he been up there for without eating. But I eat and drink it, you know. So then Moses had wrote, you know, so Moses had wrote on the tablets the, the words that God had given him to write down. And that's the, uh, and this is the, uh, the Ten Commandments. Now the purpose of the stone, the tablet, you know, is is to uh, to believe to be found, created in an instant for basic accounting and record keeping purpose. You know, so God wrote another tablet, but this time God told told Moses, you know, to write write everything down on the tablet. You know, write everything down. You know, so God made another covenant with the Israelites. You know, again, he told them to do not worship all the God. Now I hope they listen this time. You know, so Moses was on top of the mountain, you know, with God for forty days and forty nights without food and without water, you know. So Moses wrote on the tablet, you know, a new tablet, words of a covenant for ten, for the Ten Commandments. You know, so we see that God had, God had wrote out a whole nother tablet since Moses had broke the first one. And God, God acknowledged that, okay, we about to make another tablet since you broke the other tablet. So he let them know, I know you broke the other tablet. You, you know, so they're making another one. You know, so they're making another one. You know, and so God had forgive the Israelite. And then not only forgive them, but he got a surprise for them. You know, he said, I'm about to do something for y'all that that no, that I had never did on the nation or into the whole world. You know, he said the people that's around them, you know, they're going to be amazed. You know, of what he about to do to the Israelite. You know, he said, I'm about to do something that no one, you know, he that he it never had been done before in the nation or in the world. You know, and I see that's amazing God. You know, that he was about to punish these um people and then he changed his mind and not only changed his mind, but he got a present for them. You know, he about, he got a present for them. He about to do something that he, he had never been done before. You know, so that's all the um, word I have for y'all today. But I do, um, I to do all this to one. I have a little short, short news, you know. So former, um, remember, remember the five officer, you know, that was charged with, um, Tyree, um, uh, Nicholson, um, uh, crime, you know. So 
did um all five of them did plead not guilty. They plead not guilty. So the five former Memphis um police officers were arranged um today. You know, all five officers did plead not guilty on today on criminal charges connected to the January um death of Tyree Nichols, who brutal was beaten after the police traffic stop, you know, was seen on video. So a soft kidnap officer misconduct and uh, official uh, oppression to second degree murder. You know, so we see in the video, and they plead not guilty in, in court. You know, so I request that they take responsibility for Tyree, you know, uh, for Tyree, because he ordained, you know, for a traffic um, stop, you, you know, so uh, so they, they uh, take the full responsibility, take the charge for the, for the crime that had happened. You know, so uh, I would question if they don't even get out. You know, because a person's life have, has been taken. You you know, so they is pleading on um, because they was out for a little while. You know, they had to take the charge or the responsibility. You know what happened to a young a young man that was stopped at a traffic light, and I put traffic um uh, rules out um uh, about two three days ago. You know, so um. Uh, the five officer was in court today. They said they 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 scheduled for another court. They will have another court day, you know. But the court they had today, you know, they plead not guilty, you know. But we saw the video, you know. But they plead not guilty. So we gonna we gonna wait and, and see how all this still play out. And they go to court a second time. You know, so that's all the word and all the news I have for you on today. Y'all have a blessed night, and I see y'all on the next video.